We'll start with this simple example, polynomial function. Right, so we have this cubic polynomial. We want to determine the intervals on which it's concave up or concave down. So as we've discussed, determining concavity more or less boils down to determining the sign of the second derivative. So the first thing we've got to do is compute derivatives. Calculate f prime first. So f prime of x will be 3x squared minus 3, right? Derivative of 1 is 0. It's a constant. Now, we weren't asked for it, but if we wanted to, we could, of course, factor this first derivative. And we'd be able to determine that there are critical numbers at 1 and at minus 1. We could plug those critical numbers back into the original function, if we were so inclined, and get the corresponding critical points, right? f at 1 is going to be 1 minus 3 plus 1. It's negative 1. f at minus 1 is going to be minus 1 plus 3 plus 1, which is 3. All right, so what this more or less tells you, and of course, if, if you wanted to, you could also, you could look at the sign chart for f prime, and, and you work out that it's positive, negative, then positive, right? So you have this rough idea, this very rough idea, that at minus 1, And 3, you have this maximum. At 1 and minus 1, you have this minimum. And, well, yeah, right? Because max increasing to decreasing is a max. Decreasing to increasing is a min. That's the first derivative test. Um, we also know that there's, um, there's a y-intercept at 1. So we sort of have, you know, this kind of picture, right? But we know that's not quite right. We know that, of course, there should be some, you know, we should smooth this out, right? So it should be sort of like this. It should be sort of like this, right? So now, if we want to increase the accuracy of our sketch, we move on to the second derivative. Now, the second derivative is simply 6x, right? So if we were going to draw a sign chart, well, the second derivative is 0 when x is 0 positive to the left, it's negative to the right. right? Um, so that means that your function is concave down here, right? It's concave up here, right? And at zero, you have an inflection point. Now, what those inflection points look like, right, is, is you're switching from being concave down to concave up, right? So it's, it's that point there where, where the graph sort of, you know, it almost kind of becomes a straight line for a second, right? It's curving down, it's flat, and then it starts curving up again. So you get a point which looks like that. So that inflection point happens here at that y-intercept. So we should have something which curves down, hits the intercept, starts curving up. Right? And, and now we have a, a much more accurate graph of our function. Right? Um, so if we wanted to write the intervals, we were asked for the intervals, we can say that f is concave up on 0 to infinity and concave down from minus infinity to zero. And that's it.